So for the past two years, as Cartographica, we've utilized GIS really uh, to make sophisticated uh, wall art. Um, and we'll just take you through uh, some of our kind of maps that we've uh, had success with. <coughs> so uh, a lot of these, everything that you see here, are actually uh, were custom works. And so client come to us and say, hey, I want a map of Boston. Uh, what can you do for us? And so we take a lot of uh, open data, a lot of data that's available. Um, Either at the municipal level, or uh, there's obviously you know data aggregation sites um, that kind of lump all the spatial data together for easy downloading. Can you and, talk about some of those? Like what are the sources? Uh, so um, I guess the the typical one is OpenStreetMap. Mm -hmm. so, um, um, we use that sparingly because a lot of times the data is not very um, not really precise or it's not really uh, cleaned up um, to our standards, but it is good for like uh, for reference. And if we if we can't find anything else, that's kind of our default go-to source. Um, for the most part, it's uh, it's good for like um, road data, road center line data. Sometimes you have building footprint data, as you see here. Um, but a lot of times, if we're at like if we're at like a local level or a municipal level. And it's a big enough city, and then um, the municipality will often have their data, their spatial data online. The city of Chicago is a great example. They have a ton of spatial data. Um, if we go back here, yeah. So right here, I mean, it's basically just building from this um, on this one. And so you've got that particular one from the city's data portal. Yeah, but um, again, we really look for really high quality data, and. Um, the Chicago data is very, uh, it's very complete, but it's really outdated, and a lot of times it's really crude, crudely drawn. And so we spent hundreds of hours actually refining this um, data, and this this map in particular is a good example. Um, I actually, uh, we actually redigitized all of the curb lines in this area, and actually, this is just a small fraction of what we've done for the city so far. And probably between, it depends on the area, but between like 40 and 80 percent of the building footprints are actually digitized and modified in the same way. Um, other sources, uh, there's Geo, Geo Commons, or Geo Community. I always get those two mixed up. Um, uh, there's Diva GIS, which is kind of more large scale country data. Um, and there's uh, a bunch of other ones that don't come to me. You also have uh, 